right guys welcome back to um the channel um dg Bombuki back here um i took sword soul to locals this past weekend um i came third out of <clears throat> um 15 people um yeah it was quite good uh locals um very casual um there's a few competitive decks there but um yeah i just thought i'd take sword soul um the budget series will return next weekend um but my camera's currently broke but i've get, get a new camera so um that's pretty good um but i'll show you the list and um what i played for the event um so for this for the sword soul part of the sword soul part of the deck i played three incredible ecclesia um this card allows you to summon a sword soul or um fawn of albars from the deck but we're using it for the fawn of albars effect um it's really good if your opponent controls a monster you can just special summon it without using your normal summon so yeah it's pretty good um for the other sword soul monsters i'm playing um i'm playing three mo yi um, this card, when this card is normal special summoned, you can reveal a um, sword soul or worm card in your hand and then summon a token that's level 4. Also, if this card is sent to the graveyard for a synchro material, um, you get to draw a card. Um, you play 3 sword soul long, long one. Um, you can discard a sword soul or worm card from your hand and special summon it and summon a token that's level 4. So this gets you into your level 10 plays um so baron or cheat or the sort of level 10s and then i play two tie um this card's really good you um banish a sword soul card or worm from grave and then produce token and then if it's sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon you can foolish barrel a sword soul worm card so it's really good um it's pretty standard um play three sword soul emergence it's the rotor for the deck and one sword soul blackout um this card you can target a worm card you control and pop two cards your opponent controls so yeah it's pretty good pretty standard and pretty standard in sword soul um for the tangies i play three ashuna um if this you special summon it and it special summons a, mul a worm uh, a tangy from deck so you then you're locked into rooms after activate the effect um ahara if you control uh, this one you banish it from grave or hand and then add a worm card back and then play two for shooter um this is like the first time i've tried this like i know i played three for shooter and two ahara but this worked out really well i was looking for a third ahara before the event but i couldn't find one so if I'm going forward, I probably would play a third Ahara, but worked out pretty good. Um, for the staples, two desires, pretty standard in Sword Soul. Uh, hand traps, three ash. Uh, for this locals and it's generically good. Uh, stop stuff like brand fusion, um, anything else like that. Three Vela. Um, it's a lot of rogue at our locals, so. These two hand traps and three imperm are pretty good to um, have for locals, um, but pretty standard. Um, imperm's good, draws a sixth card, um, so yeah. Uh, for the so for the bestials, um, three magma hut, three jurus worm, and three. Sarania and one Destrudo. Um, this idea is from Pax YouTube channel. So the whole idea of this is um, you if you have this on the uh, the end phase. You search Dragon, you search Destrudo, then you pick half and special summon this. Then you go into Yazzie and you can summon a Sword Soul card, like a uh, Moi or Taiyi. Um, so yeah, let me just put this back. Um, Yeah, this, this engine worked really well all day, and I did do the Yazzie combo a couple of times. 
um, it's really good and just getting access to your sword soul cards and it allows you to break boards but yeah um, if you don't have the bestials you can um, up the tangy package um, you can play hand traps more hand traps you can play cosmics just anything generically so yeah uh, I'm going to do my side deck first uh, I played three Nibiru um, if you don't have the bestials you can play this um, this card's pretty good uh, moving into the new format post photon high maneuver this card's going to be really good against uh, Kashtira um, and other stuff um, good against rogue three dark ruler for um, sprite and some other board breaking decks like draco slayer branded despia uh, three lightning storm for back row um, three regeki because it's ro uh, rogue and row for rogue decks and stuff and just couldn't find nothing else to play and three when he matched um, but yeah this side deck worked okay uh, we got some labyrinth players um, some Des brand despia players so it was just more of a board breaking side deck but going forward i probably would play going first cards because that's what cost me against trap tricks i made them go second because i didn't have nothing going for going first but going forward i will play stuff like solemn judgment rivalry if you don't play the beast deals you can play rivalry and stuff like that um or you know it's pretty good but I probably would make changes to the side deck. Um, for the for the extra deck, I played two monk. Um, works pretty well. Uh, one liner, uh, one tangy. This card was pretty good all day. Um, for the synchros, three um, chi shell. Uh, so this probably will be another synchro. I just um, couldn't find anything else to put in. Maybe something like a Crimson Blader or Chao Fang or the Rank Six, the one you with the Bestials. I don't, didn't own that card, so I just put another Chao Fang in as a, a filler. So this is pretty much a filler spot. So um, I played one long one, one Chenging. This card was really good all day. Um, you can banish problematic stuff and then just go on with your plays. Um, so then I played two uh, Baxia. Um, the shuffle effect is really good, and the fact that you can just destroy a card and summon a worm from grave, you can bring back your Moyes, your Taiyis, or just some other stuff. One Yazzie for the Destrudo Magna Hut combo. Uh, one Drake Observer of the Tangy. One Dragite. Uh, funny thing, you can actually, if you put a Nibiru in, you can actually summon Nibiru and return a card. Return a card to the. the uh, is it there? Oh. Uh, return cards to the hand, so it's pretty good. And one Baron, pretty standard. Um, uh, this is a new setup that I'm doing, see how good it is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, my matchups were round one, I played against. Dogmatica Ritual. Round two, I lost to Trap Trick because he opened a pointer and took my Lightning Storm out of my hand. Uh, and then game three, I made him go um, first. When well, I should probably go first because I was scared of uh, board breakers and stuff because there's nothing, nothing to go first. So that's on me, that is. And then round four, I won against Labyrinth. Uh, round three, I won against BES. And then round four, I won against labyrinth so it was quite casual locals but there was a few meta decks there um uh, abby's branded despia dark world one again so that was quite good um but yeah it's quite a good event it was nice to play sword soul again but yeah all right guys thanks for watching the video um if there's any cards you would suggest that i play in the deck uh, put them in the comments section below also don't forget to like share and subscribe Cheers guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more deck profiles and the budget series and gameplay. Cheers guys!